Hey everybody, we're Diamonds Too Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Darman video. Uncle sends bad kids to foster care. What happens next is shocking. Guys, before we get into this video, I want to say thank you guys for helping me hit 410 subscribers. Let's get to 420 subscribers this week. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are killing it. And I'm so happy to know that more people are joining because, you know, I like doing these videos. This is just, you know, amazing. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into the video. Where are the little rascals? Oh, they were just here literally a second ago. Fire! Oh, oh Kendall! Tyler, that is not how you greet our guests. Please apologize to your Uncle Jake right now. We're sorry. Deja's right, you know, you should be sorry. Sorry for starting a war! <laughs> the three musketeers looks like nothing has changed and my little bro is still one big kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Speaking of changes, has Jake gotten any closer to, you know? Who knows? 12 years and counting, and he keeps saying he's gonna propose once his music career takes off? Oof. I don't know, I might be waiting forever. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. What's for dinner? I'm so hungry. I brought donuts for dessert. I know how much you love them, Molly. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> what in don't ask? It's the only way they eat spaghetti. <laughs> what the heck? Huh. Spaghetti with mustard. First of all, they don't have any meatballs or sauce, so I'm thinking that maybe they just don't like sauce or meatballs. But noodles with mustard? I don't know about that. So, Jake, how's work going? Are you still temping at that warehousing company? No way, Jose. That was like three jobs ago. Yeah, stocking shelves is way beneath me. Mm -hmm. He can't keep a job? What? If it were up to and you... He said stocking shelves are way beneath me. So, that's his garage taken. She's waiting for her to get married to him, but he's, you know, I guess, just hoping his music career will pop off, I guess. I'd still be a corporate slave with no time to work on my music. Honey, you know how close I am to finishing up my demo for the record labels. Look, I'm not trying to be unsupportive of your music, but you gotta grow up sometime, man. He's right. And the only way to grow is by taking responsibility. Okay, well, if that's what taking responsibility looks like, I think I'm good. Well, I mean, I'm trying out for the basketball team at school, so. Yeah, nice. she's been practicing day and night, and Tyler's been working on getting his grades up since his report card came back with some interesting letters. Yes. Don't worry, buddy. Mm. I didn't do that well in school either, and uh, look how well I turned out, huh? <laughs> Nah, they don't want him turning out like his uncle, man. Shoot, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I support people in their dreams, too. But, like, don't just quit a job just to focus on your career and you don't have money coming in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, especially if you got a family to provide for, you got a girl that you with, you know, and you need to help her with the bills. Why would you quit your job, you know what I'm saying, when you see that she needs help? Oh. Uh, uh, come on. Are you what? kidding? What? What? In some cultures, that's considered a compliment. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot the PTA meeting is tonight. We have to be at the school in 30 minutes. Come on, we missed the last one. We really can't miss another one. Well, we don't mind watching the kids if you guys gotta go. Wait, what? Molly, no, 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 no. I'm not a, I'm not a babysitter. Oh, uh, he don't want to watch the kids. Come on, he don't. I don't think he like kids. I was supposed to record tonight. You want you, Uncle Jake? Yeah, please. <laughs> you got money. I'm like your family. What does your dad do? Work at Seven Eleven? Where are they? They were supposed to be back like an hour ago. He's so watching a Darman video, the one where. The dude wasn't uh, liking the uh, uh, his friends dead because of their religion. Rude not to at least call. He puts on some weird music, and then he gives 
Finally. Oh, was there keys or something? If I were Sonny, I would have left with my dad in the cat. I'll take you guys so. Is this the residence of Madame Deja Shepherd? Yeah. Why are the police there? What happened? Happened. Here we stop. We are gathered here today to celebrate the lives of Matthew and Deja Shepherd, beloved friends, loved ones, wow. and parents. Y'all, I did not expect that to happen, dude. I. Oh wow! I did that. Uh, I'm at a loss for words. I did not expect that to happen, man. They were taken from us too soon. Thanks for coming by on such short notice. They gotta and adopt I'm them. I'm truly sorry for your loss. Looks like the will Look, that Matt and I know the girls just do not wanting to throw the kids in foster care. Like, why would you do that, man? Like... They had drawn up a few years ago. Names you as Tile and Kendall's guardian in case anything should ever happen to you. Wow. So look, they trusted him to be the parent of their kids if anything were to ever happen. Come on now. There's no way. I don't know. I, I can't he don't believe he could do it. Kids. We already planned the funeral. That's more than enough. Only other alternative would be foster care. To turn them over to the state and they would be put in foster care. See, I couldn't do that to my own nieces and nephews, man. If I'm here and I'm the only family they got to come with, I'm taking them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to put them in no system. Come on now. No, <laughs> that's not happening. We're going to take them. Yeah, see, she want to take them. I know it's not as big as what you're used to, but until we find something bigger, you guys can stay in the bedroom and Jake and I will take an air mattress out here, okay? Make yourselves at home. And he don't seem like he's ready to be a father, but he's gonna have to grow up and learn how to, you know, mature a little bit more now, shoot. Whoa, buddy, hey, hey, not there. No one touches my music station, got it? My demo was on there. Can I get you guys anything? Hey. Anybody up for a Nerf war? Come on now, that's wrong timing, dude. They parents just died. They not, come on now, that's not how you, come on now, what? Why would you do that? Can you guys give us a sec? Actually, she don't like that he's not paying no attention to the kids. He's just, you know, lazing around. Where were you? The kids were waiting at school for over an hour. Wow. Shoot. He was supposed to pick I them forgot. up. I forgot. I'm sorry. You forgot? What if I couldn't answer my phone? What if I was stuck in a meeting? What would have happened? How did the meeting with the realtor go? Um, I canceled it. You what? Why would you do that? Why he canceling me? Oh my God. We can't all fit in this apartment, Jake. We have to get a bigger place. Just, just give me a sec to explain, okay? I also quit my job because... Again? You've only been there three weeks. I know, I know. He quit his job again, dude? Come on, now you got, you got kids to look after now. But honey, that's only because 
I got a meeting with an exec who wants to hear my demo next week, honey. If But what if they decide not to go with you and you back to square one? You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to bust his dreams and say things don't happen, but I'm trying to say like always have have a job so you have income coming in if you grown i could see if you was in high school and you know you was focused on school and you was working on your career at the same time okay but if you sit over here and you're practically grown and have bills to pay and things to take care of you need income coming in you can't just be quitting jobs like you ain't got stuff to take care of when that meeting goes well not only will i never have to work but we can buy a house, Molly. I mean, forget about renting. Plus, I'll be able to... to Spend more time with the kids and take care of them? No. No, the, the, the opposite, You're actually. You're not thinking about the kids. If my not music gets picked up, him. I'll have even less time. So who's going to take care of Kendall and Tyler? I don't know. I, I didn't think about that. Mm. Of course. Molly, I was in a really good mood before you came in here and ruined everything. I didn't ask for this responsibility. Oh, and you think I did? Right. You know what? Things just happen. You gotta grow up and learn to adapt to certain situations. You can't just be talking about something I didn't ask for this, because everything that happens in your life, you didn't ask for, it just happens. Some things you do ask for and you manifest, yeah, I could say that. If you manifest it and it happens, yeah, you know, then you ask for it. But, you know, a lot of things gonna happen in your life to where you didn't ask for it. You gotta learn how to adapt. I gotta go to work because some people take their responsibilities seriously. Hey, Uncle Jake. Do you have time to help me out with basketball tryouts? Yeah, and when you're done, can you please help me study for my history homework? Not now, guys. Wow. But dad always helps. Well, I'm not your dad, okay? Wow. He has no right to call him. What is all that racket? Kendall, what are you doing playing with that in the apartment? You could break something. And Tyler, what'd I say about my laptop? I have a history paper. I have to research. I don't care what you're supposed to research. My demo was on there. Now give it. But if I don't research this. He gotta do his stuff for school. And you, oh my gosh. It'll fail. I failed history in school and the world didn't end. Now give it. Bad influence. He just gonna be telling the kids, well, I didn't succeed in this and look at me. You don't look like you're doing good in life anyway. Oh. Wow, he gonna be mad about that. My demo, it's ruined. Do you realize how much work I put into this? It was gonna be what finally got me a record deal and I have no other backup. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be mad, Uncle Jake. Everyone makes mistakes. The only mistake I made was agreeing to taking care of you two. Oh. Now pack wow. your bags. I'm doing what I should have done in the first place. Finding someone who can actually take care of you. Who wants to take care of you. You're all we have left. Mom and Dad, you- I don't know what your parents were thinking. Okay, wow. Kendall? I'm not your dad. And you're not my kids. Yeah, man. And I'm definitely not ready for all the responsibility that comes with that. Now hurry up. Go! Move! Wow. Please, Uncle Jake. You gotta we feel bad about we'll be this. Better. I'll never touch your laptop ever again. Yeah. Who really I does this with a cold heart, dude? I don't care if something just happens out the blue and I feel like I can't do it because that's my family and my blood, bruh. I'm taking care of my nieces and nephews. I don't even have to try out for the basketball team if he makes you that mad. I'm sorry, guys, but I just wasn't cut out for this. I didn't sign up to be a dad. Look, it doesn't mean we can't still see each other. I can still visit you sometimes and be your Uncle Jake. Yeah, don't bother. You're not the person I thought you were. Right, like, dude, if you just go give up on them like that, they ain't gonna want to see you at all. You gave up on them and gave them to, giving them to some strangers, bro. Come on, Tyler.
What happened to your laptop? I found it on the floor and it wasn't turning on, but then I fixed and it. If I was her, I'd be asking where the kids at. Shoot. So it works now. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm, yeah. See, and where she fixed it for you, but and, and you didn't sit over here and gave the kids away, mad at the kids and stuff. The kids, I'm making pasta. <clears throat> They're not coming. What do you mean? Uh, don't get mad. But I dropped them off at CPS. You what? I had to. All their stuff lying around everywhere, using my things without asking. They were causing fights between us, Molly. Tyler even broke my laptop. They Why wasn't we... causing fights between you. You were causing fights between y'all. You know, because you wasn't stepping up. You wasn't helping. I thought he did. They were ruining our lives, Molly. And what about their lives, Jake? They just lost their parents, your brother and sister-in-law. And what, you just threw them away? Like you do everything else? What is that supposed to mean? You can't commit to anything. You refuse to hold down a job. You refuse to get rid of this apartment yep. and let go of your bachelor pad. And you know what? After all this time, you won't even propose to me. I told yep. you. I'm just waiting for my music career to take oh, off, and then I'll buy you the it's biggest- It's been 12 years, Jake. It's never gonna take off. You know what? Oh. Neither is this relationship. You don't mean that. I do. I don't blame her for I leaving him, though. I don't blame- I can't. What? No. Molly, you can't just leave me like that. You can't just leave me like that! Look, how you gonna pay things now? Now you need to get a job without her. So what do you think? Listen, music's good, but if I'm being honest, this isn't the sort of thing that I'm looking for right now. I'm sorry. But hey, at least you still got your day job, right? So deep, I can barely see my Yeah, around me feels so heavy, but depleted. Changing his life. But I find this the place to test myself. Cause it's here where we lay in my blanket of despair. Where I'm weak, but I'm strong, and black smoke fills the air. Gotta get a job. Not get the job. He got the job. The smallest flame can light up the darkest night. But it's not enough to Okay, he got a house. Okay. 
Seriously? Nice work, Tyler. Woo! <laughs> you know what? I think this is fridge worthy. <gasps> he got an A, okay. You miss her, don't you? Why don't you try calling or texting her? I have, but she won't. Uh... Sorry, guys, I, <clears throat> I just need a minute. Wait, I have an idea. Come on. They got an idea. Hey, guys, you said it was an emergency. Is everything OK? <laughs> Sorry to use the kids, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Please, have a seat. We have three minutes. What's up? Well, first, I'd like to tell you that other than having the kids already, I got a job. I've already been there for two months, going on three. And I even have my own business card. See? Hmm. I thought you said stocking shelves was beneath you. Well, technically, I'm not stocking shelves since I'm the warehouse manager. But even if I was, that'd be fine, too, because I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Oh. Aww. So who's picking up the kids while you're at work? It's such a long commute. Actually, it's not that far anymore, because we moved. I've got a much nicer place now. You let go of the bachelor pad. Yeah. yeah, he let it go. Wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> I can't believe you're making all these changes. Well, it took some time to adjust. You know, I may not have the rock star lifestyle that I imagined or the dream house. And it does take a lot of work taking care of two kids. Yeah. But at some point, I realized that I have to grow up. And as a wise person once told me, if you want to grow, you have to take responsibility. You got to take responsibility, man. I'm really happy for you, Jake. Is there anything else you needed to say? Yeah. He want to make me. I have the job. I got the house. I even have the kids. One thing he doesn't have is you. But there is one thing missing. And that is you. Molly Elizabeth Miller. I know that it's taken me a long time to get here, but there is no one that I'd rather go on this crazy adventure of life with than you. You yeah. complete me. And this family. So, will you marry me? <laughs> I want her to say yes. I'm sorry, I know it's <laughs> I know it's not a ring. I spent all my money on our new house, but I promise you, as a new Jake, I will get you your dream ring one day soon. But in the meantime, I hope this is okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but only because I love donuts. Aww. <laughs> really? You're just gonna eat my ring? I love donuts. I was hungry. <laughs> Aww.
thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.